morning. Welcome to Top of the World News. I'm Jim Lynch. Please like and subscribe. Please follow me on all forms of social media. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Backstage, and of course this YouTube page. Let's get into today's topic. And for me, today is the first day of school in my house. Um... And this is the topic that I write about annually. And I talk about new beginnings and fresh starts and, you know, all the lessons that can be learned by both school-age kids and adults alike on this particular day. And while all of that is true this year, I want to take today's talk into a little bit of a different direction. Uh, our school district has a summer academic curriculum. They have assignments that they need to complete prior to the first day of school, which counts towards their grades in particular classes. Uh, now, I was out with my son yesterday, and we ran into one of his friends, now, keep in mind, I've been on both my sons for the last several weeks about getting their their summer work done. And the, t the typical response that I get from my oldest is, uh, I have it handled, or, or something to that effect. Well, uh, as I said, I ran into one of my son's friends like yesterday, and he says to my son, did you complete the math packet? And my son's response to back to him was, what math packet? Now, let me ask everybody who's watching. Does that sound like somebody who's got it handled? Well, long story short, my son spent several hours yesterday finishing his summer work. And he didn't go to bed till probably about 1 a.m. On a night when he probably should have been going to bed early all because he waited until the last possible minute to get his work completed now suffice to say I wasn't happy when I found out that it was his work wasn't done and my response to him on our ride home last night was you need to be more responsible Are you expecting someone to hold your hand through your entire academic career? And, and he responds back, no, I just wish I'd known that this was part of the assignment. I wish someone would have told me. And my response back to him was, but you reasonably should have known. You weren't responsible enough to find out exactly what was going to be required of you. Now, there are so many lessons here. And life gets in our way often. No one cares. I can sum this up in three simple words. Bullshit excuses, and pardon my language. But if you're expected to be somewhere or to do something, no one cares about your age, your experience level, your sex, your disability, your ethnic or racial orientation. Successful people meet those challenges regardless of the excuses. Now, to my son's credit, he did, he did get his assignments done. He met that challenge. Life almost got in the way. Life almost tripped him up. Now, that can happen to all of us from time to time. But you can stay on track. You can stay sure-footed and not get tripped up through, through preparation. 
success comes from the work that no one sees. Could be research, for example. In my son's case, he should have checked the school website to see exactly what his assignments were. He could be starting his work and his preparation earlier. I believe 50% of success comes from just showing up. But not just showing up, but showing up ready to work. And showing up early to work. On time to me is late. Because if you're showing up on time, okay, you're in the door on time, but you're not either physically or mentally prepared to work. Make sense? It may take you 5, 10, 15 minutes to get in that proper frame of mind. If it takes you 30 seconds, you're late. At the very least, you should always strive to be 5, 10, 15 minutes early and ready to work. That can minimize a lot of the damage that life can do. Had my son started his summer assignments on, let's say, August 1st, instead of waiting till the last possible minute, he would have avoided the issues he had yesterday. When you coach kids sports, a lot of coaches teach a lesson, either we win or we learn. Well, I hope for my son's sake, this experience is lesson learned. Now, as I said, something similar to this has probably happened to all of us at one point in time. Don't repeat the mistakes of the past. Learn on this first day of school. Learn from my son's mistakes. That's all for this week. We'll see you guys next week. I certainly hope this tip puts you guys on top of the world too. See you guys next week.